yo, this is weird. This is really weird. Um, allegedly, this comes from Brother Hassan's page, and it's kind of, it's kind of, kind of. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know how to really, really put our hand on this because, see, these are Mexicans. Well, you know, the cholos that are here that still claim it. Most of those guys are not Hispanic. They call themselves. They're actually on the. Never mind. It's a lot of sloppy story. But those guys in uniform. Hey, morning, sis. Those guys in uniforms are federal rallies. And if you think that cops, they're cops. They're cops. They're, they're, you think the cops hear it bad? Federal rallies will rob you, beat you, and arrest you. Like, yo, yo. But the cool thing about it is if you get caught pissing in the corner somewhere on the street, you can hit them a hot 20 and then go on about your way and instead of going to the jail. Because it's not the jail jail. But the thing about it is, though, the thing about it is, is that the problem with Negroes being so emotional that y'all don't spread this around. Y'all don't spread this around, but you won't spread the truth around like this. Because, see, what y'all are forgetting, the kids that ended up in cages are the Central and Southern Americans, can, cans, and Mexicans that Mexico didn't want there. And then, mind you, mind you, the gross majority of them are from those traveling caravans that came from Central and South America. So, the people that are throwing the Haitians, chasing the Haitians out, are the same people that were chasing their own people out. That would be like, I don't know, the Crips and the Bloods attacking a whole Mexican neighborhood or something, and then the news media and Mexicans be like, look, black people are attacking us, when it was something that was coordinated by gangsters. Because, again, that's what the federalities are. So here, here, y'all tell Brother Hassan that Uncle Rex posted this <clears throat> so that way he can pick the truth or the lie. And then those that are, y'all are checking on him and y'all are spreading around, you can repost this so you can show that you're picking the truth over the lie. Because if y'all want to be manipulated by your emotions and, and somebody getting up viewership likes and paper, whatever, whatever, that's who you want to rock with, then fine, do that. But y'all want to talk about accountability, y'all need black unity, you need to have integrity. Because if you have somebody telling lies to manipulate you, isn't that called toxic? Don't y'all be breaking up with boyfriends and girlfriends over that, getting divorces because of lies? Because he's cheated on you as a community. He's cheated on us as a community. Our people, our children, our elders, everybody. This is dangerous in the strides towards progress. But when they start talking about we are, he's one of the ones. We all we got. We all, we all, they can't depend on nobody. Can't trust nobody. And then this furthers his agenda. So when we tell you, when we tell you that we don't be talking trash about people, we be talking truth, it's because we side with the truth, no matter who tells it. We side with justice, no matter who tells it. So if you got some cracker mentality and want to be a cracker or follow a cracker, keep following your so-called brother, Hassan. Like this, comment to add value. Send this to your people's followers' account. Good talk. Glad we had it. R-E-X.